In this lesson, I'll show you how to test the significance of the correlation coefficient. Let's pretend you just calculated the correlation coefficient represented by the letter R from a set of data points that appear to have a linear relationship, and you found out R to be 0 0.8599. As you know, R tells us about the strength and direction of the linear relationship between two variables. And a value of 0 0.859 tells us that it is positive, strong, and going from bottom left to top right. However, the reliability of the linear model also depends on how many observed data points are in the sample. We perform a hypothesis test of the significance of the correlation coefficient to decide whether the linear relationship in the sample data is strong enough to be used to model the relationship in the population. Therefore, a hypothesis test concerning the population correlation coefficient, which we use the Greek letter rho to represent, addresses whether there is a linear association in the entire population. So given an n value of 10, let's test for a linear relationship given an r value of 0 0.8599. On your screen now is the hypothetical data we used to obtain that r value, and n represents the number of observations. So here's how we conduct the test. We begin with our hypothesis. Our null hypothesis is that rho equals zero. If rho is equal to zero, then it's not linear. So I'll write down not linear. And this happens if we have insufficient evidence to favor the alternative. The alternative hypothesis is that rho does not equal to zero. If rho does not equal to zero, then it is linear. Next, we choose our test statistic, and for that we will be using t observed. You calculate t observed, and that's found by taking the value of r, multiplying it to the square root of n minus 2 over 1 minus r squared. Let's substitute the values that we know. r is 0 0.8599 times the square root of 10 minus 2, that happens to be 8, over 1 minus 0 0.8 five nine nine squared. Let's go ahead and substitute these values into our calculator. Multiply to the square root of eight divided by one minus zero point eight five nine nine raised to the power of two. We end up with four point seven six. So T observed is approximately four decimal seven six. Now we have to make our decision by Comparing this with T critical, and T critical is found in a table. We'll be using an alpha value of 0 0.05 and a degrees of freedom of 8. So T critical is based on an alpha value of 0 0.05 and a degrees of freedom of 8. That's done by subtracting 10 minus 2. In the table, which is always a two-sided table for linearity, you get 2.306, 2 decimal 306. And this looks like, on a chart, something like this, where that value is 2.306, and the value that we just found is 4.76. So it falls in what we call the rejection region. Rejection region meaning that we will be rejecting the null hypothesis in favor for the alternative because we have enough evidence at 0 0.05 to favor the alternative which says that rho does not equal to zero. So to say that again, we have sufficient evidence at 0 0.05 significance level to conclude a linear relationship between the two variables, namely body mass index and systolic blood pressure for the entire population. And there you have it. That is how to test the significance of the correlation coefficient R.